Okay, I'm warm. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Anime Casuals. I'm Lucky. Here I go! This hand of mine is burning red! And I'm Michael. Realize the only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. Johnny. Your darkness swallowed up my son? Who decided that? Opting! Burning! Now all of you... Die. Die. Two, one. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Anime Casuals. This is Michael. I'm a Johnny. And together we make up Anime Casuals. Oh my god, we just said that. Uh, so, today we are diving into the wide, wonderful world of Women's History Month! Wah! Um, and for Women's History Month, we've been trying to do... Uh, trying to investigate more into the women's history side of things so we went over some mangaka mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um we went over our favorite female role models mm -hmm, and now mm -hmm. we are looking at something strange today we're looking at thing uh male characters that we would like to turn female for mm -hmm. the purposes of the anime uh was that you who came up with this idea uh yeah uh okay. just i thought of a just kind of have a little bit of fun with it. Um, admittedly, even trying to come up with my list, I kind of uh, would change it up and even think just if the whole anime itself got just Gender all bent. swapped. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Well, that's certainly interesting. I was trying to see what the biggest change to an anime from changing its gender. Some of mm. them, I was like, nothing would happen. This is not one that would change at all. And then others, I was like, oh, this is a fundamental change. Mm -hmm. Okay, so since you thought of it, why don't you start sure, out? Sure, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, first one I thought I thought of pretty quickly was uh, Code Geass. I thought it would be pretty interesting mm. if a lot of those characters, you know, switch genders. Just because I, I think it would still have the same effect. I think it wouldn't mm -hmm. lose anything from it. Um, uh, what would it gain? I don't know. I mean, if anything, it would just be cool to see um, a female character in that kind of position of louche and, you know, taking care of her blind little brother kind of thing. Um, I feel like it all just still kind of works, and I feel like the characters would be just as cool and just as fun. So, uh, yeah, that was my first one. Code Geass, Lelouch. I went for one that would be fundamentally different if the mm -hmm. main characters were different genders. Sure. And that would be... And that's the thing, is I was trying to go for male characters to female, mm -hmm. and just seeing if that would change anything, and then thinking about gender bent. But if the main character in this one was female, it kind of changed the whole show. If, if uh, I don't remember his name, but if the main guy in Darling of the Franks was then female, it would then very much change the, the method to the madness of the show. That's true. Being like a gender pairing show... Uh, kids going through puberty, um, and then we kind of expand to like more of an LGBTQ plus like style That's anime. <laughs> Would be like, and what's it like for a woman to love another woman instead of just like it's just based sexuality in the show right now? So <laughs> I think that actually would have been a cool direction for uh, Darling and the Franks to go in. Mm. I mean, they kind of had a uh, I don't know what to call it, kind of a weird relationship thing going on with you know, their characters anyway, but mm. I don't know. To see some of that kind of LGB, well, I don't know the letter scheme, actually. I don't say it enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just going to say, the lesbian scene, I think that'd be fine. I um, mean, also, like, uh, his, like, friend that has, like, a crush on him, that would be different, too. Mm -hmm. It'd be, like, a really weird, like, triangle or square that would be made after that. She's like, well, I'm into my best friend who's been a lady for a while, but yeah, I'm also kind of into you, guy. And then it'd be like an exploration of not just puberty, but like sexuality itself. So yeah. it'd be it'd be pretty interesting if. Uh, and I think a lot of the ones on my list kind of follow a very similar theme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Next one I thought of actually. Um. I don't know. Now I'm thinking about it. If I thought about just the main characters, because it's it's two people. I chose Gurren Logan. Um. 
Okay. Okay. Same kind of premise. I think it would be just as awesome. So instead of um, drilling, you're getting drilled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Women's History Month. <laughs> Women's History Month. Uh, yeah, I just think that'd be a really fun one to see. Uh, it would almost be kind of like a, I don't know, maybe I'm comparing it to like a panty stocking, that like spunky personality mm-hmm. kind of thing yeah. that you would get from them. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, I don't think it would affect too much. I mean, yeah, it would just be a lot of fun, I guess. Uh, characters would fundamentally do all the same stuff. I mean, you'd still have all the same relationships and... Mm, you yeah, just, you just be having more fun with it. Yeah, just like my next pick, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball Super. Mm-hmm. One, I think, fundamentally changing Goku into a female character. Even if, even if you just pick him, you could pick all the like the main boy Saiyans if you wanted. Mm-hmm. But it changes something to make this male character that we've seen for a long time act stereotypically male and just kind of ah yeah i get stronger and just making it a female character it adds more dynamic to it it adds like a role model for growing up uh women growing up Mm -hmm. right that you can see a character and it could act exactly like the 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 uh the boy character would but it's a but it's female and it doesn't matter no and i think that would have kind of changed not the show at all. Like, I think the show would just basically do the same. Hopefully not doing, like, Chi-Chi... Not Chi-Chi. Uh, Bulma things with Goku at that point and Master Roshi. That mm-hmm. would be weird. Uh, also, how would Master Roshi be with a female, like, student? Hopefully good and on the up and up and not a weird weirdo. Just pervert on all the dudes. Yeah. Ooh, if Master Roshi was, was female. Pervert on all the dudes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but I think it would be cool that like live in a world where Dragon Ball was was a female main star because we have something in Dragon Ball Super that kind of relates to that. I don't remember their names because I don't remember anybody's names. But yeah, those two uh, female Saiyans. Yeah. yeah, like that's what it would be like. It would be almost exactly the same, but it would be really cool because you would have these swole ass chicks like coming out just going. <laughs> well, that's a fair point. And showing that, you know, and, and even on top of that, it'd be like, yeah, you could look hella muscly and be female. There's no problem with it. Mm-hmm. Tackling gender stereotypes early on. Come on, Dragon Ball. See, I think that's funny enough, and I don't I don't know if this is just <laughs> rude or offensive. I, I feel like it does create kind of a, an under, a better underdog story, mm-hmm. almost, if you were to gender bend some of these main characters. Yeah. So I think it just, it's... It's got more value to it, got more entertainment mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. Um, my next one actually is kind of a cheat, to be honest. I don't remember where I saw this. But He's a I s- cheat magician. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, I saw this video somewhere, and it, it instantly, like, I was like, wow, okay. I'd, I would see that. And it's Demon Slayer. Um, <clears throat> I don't, again, I don't remember where I saw it, but someone switched the characters on the scene where... Um, of Netsuko and Tanjiro? Yeah, Nezuko first getting into the box. So this time it's a little Tanjiro getting into the box. And Nezuko's like, I'll take care of you, brother. And then it doesn't go further than that. But I was like, oh, oh wow. That'd be really interesting. It'd be so cute. It'd be so adorable. Yeah. I and then mean, the adorable one wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be Netsuko anymore. It would be Tanjiro. Mm-hmm. And then and he would still get super scary. It could also create this whole different dynamic just because female creates all this crazy flame and maybe she follows in the butterfly kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe that's just me being more sexist on it, I guess. But uh, (laughs) I just thought it was a a cool idea. It got my brain flowing. So, yeah, Demon Slayer. Well, I mean, she might exhibit the flame in a different way than Tanjiro does. So that would be be cool. She has a fat fat scar on her forehead. I I like all that. I think she did, yeah. Yeah. Um, So we're going to dive pretty heavy into this. Because I think um, getting to the meat of why I put some of these on here, I'm going to skip the one I have next, is in a certain genre of anime, if you gender bent the main characters, it would completely change the entire genre. And maybe that's a, like, that's a beginning of, like, kind of a, 
do we want that to change or not? Like, if fan service's genre had all female characters instead of all male characters, mm-hmm. how would people react to that? Would it be would it be as enjoyable for those people who typically enjoy fan service, or would it be even more enjoyable because you have a female main character instead of like a a male main character, so they can be the eye of the show itself? Sure. But I put down. Uh, a fundamental fundamental change would be interspecies reviewers because it would just be a flip on the series to look at it um hmm. what would that be it's like instead it would be more yaoi instead of more yuri i think that's the right way to put it mm-hmm. like it would be women going after like all the fittest men yep. and to be honest like that's really the crux of a lot of fan service right is it's like we are contributing this fan service to uh like uh i guess young men would be who they're tar- trying to target right mm, sure yeah. and i i kind of would wonder like what a lot of this would be as just an entirely flipped genre and maybe this is just M- michael saying no i don't want yaoi content Mm-hmm. But that'd be interesting because there's BL like anime that's out there that's all about you know boys getting together. But I think it's a little t- more tasteful than <laughs> typical fan mm-hmm. service, which is like, "Where's my titties and my booty? Let me see both of them. Give me that dick." Yeah, like, that's but where where about. are the ones with the dick? Where is the, where is the ones that are like like let's let's look like instead of actually li- it's scarce, but I can. I, I guess the closest ones would be there is a scene in Devil Man Cry Baby mm-hmm. where there is there's a dick. There's dog. To be honest, yeah, mm-hmm. it's all it's 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 the outline of it. Oh, sorry, because uh, it's it's supposed to be about sin. Ugh, the penis, yeah. it's evil. But yeah, um, it's gonna get you. <laughs> uh, I actually thought you were gonna say like Oran High School, um, just because that's also kind of a, a really tame version of that. Yeah, but I I don't know because I th- I don't think it would be fundamentally different. No, well, that's what I mean. Very yeah. tame. Like inter- interspecies reviewers is probably the better. Because it would it would it would tackle just a that. different thing. It'd be like it'd be like it, it would be the like the the question would be like okay, we could just gender bend all the characters and they would act the same way, or we could think about this a little differently. Like would uh, a whole cast and crew of you know just different gender or different races act the same way? You know. Well, you want to take it extreme? Like, what if they're all orc people? Who knows? <laughs> I was say, what if, uh, if they did it with uh, World's End Harem? Oh. Oh. Mm. See, okay. There's four chicks. No. That's it. Now you've got on a whole different route. Because that's the ultimate one, at least for, like, fan service. Mm-hmm. Is because then instead of an entire world created for women by women, you now have an entire world of men and very little women and how they would react to that situation. That's a that's an analyzation of genders right there. That's World War Z. That is World War Z. You know what? If it was an entire world of men and it was like the women killer virus, I'd be like, no, we're all dead. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. That like, probably the show would escalate a lot quickly. Yeah, more quickly. Uh, no, you know what? It would already be escalated because everybody'd be in the war already. <laughs> You'd be like. How many women do you have? We'd all be cavemen. It'd be like that one South Park episode. <laughs> okay. Is that your next one that you're it's actually picking? It's been five years. No, I just want to thought about it. <laughs> uh, my next one is um, another interesting one I thought would be Death Note. Um, <clears throat> just because it adds on to the whole... Uh, Light, you know, he plays the character of... How do I want to describe this? Uh, the good guy? I, mm, no, I, I'm, not, no. I'm missing the word. No, uh, not, he's a protagonist. A guy. Well, no, I was gonna say he's he. An anti-hero. He puts on a very good mask. Yeah. So I think if that was a female character, I think that would just be all the better. You'd be seeing her constantly just fooling and tricking people, mm-hmm. and eventually mm-hmm. this dude mm-hmm. would be like obsessed with her and be like, "I want to kill for you." Yeah. And I, I just think the whole show would just be fun. Yeah. Um, I don't think Ryuk would really affect anything just because he's just funny on his own, you know. It would still be just give Whatever me some apples and you're done. gender those Shinigami are in the first place. Who knows? Yeah, that's fair. So, uh, uh, I don't know. I thought Death Note would be a really... Mm-hmm. That'd be a fun one to watch. Yeah. 
<laughs> if it was the same show, just taken from the eyes of what uh, was her name, Mika Maka or uh, whatever, the pop star girl. Oh, yeah. And, but instead, she's literally just light. So it's it's like the same story, just followed by her instead. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of funny. Um, so I went a weird dark route because I have problems with this anime, and I said Goblin Slayer, and. Why I said Goblin Slayer is because, like, nearly every important female in that show is, like, like almost or they are having sex with goblins at some point in the show, right? Mm. And they have very traumatic experiences related to these goblins. Even, like, the top-tier lady, like, the sword maiden herself is like, oh, yeah, like, I got fucking, like... I had to fuck goblins. To, to, to have a, a plot in this story, I had to be fucked by goblins. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so if the main character was female and said, would they be fucking goblins? And then be like, oh, I hate goblins. Like, I hate them so much. So now I must kill them all. Hmm. Or would all the goblins just fuck men? And would that be different? I don't know, but this is these are questions that I have for the creator and for other people who like Goblin Slayer. That's some uh, perspective. Yeah. Be- Actually, that reminds me of the other one that I thought of in the same route. It was, it was a redo of Healer. I oh. Admittedly, and again, I don't know if this is more of a <laughs> comment of society, but I, th- I just it made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought it would be really funny to watch um, all these dudes getting mm-hmm. <laughs> just... Pun intended, f- fucked up, you know, by this chick, and it's like, nah, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna take this, and I, I just thought it was a funny idea. That'd be, you know, I like that. I, I thought like it'd be this. entertaining. I like that. I like that. Um, what's your next one? Um. Oh, now, now. Not for Johnny, any. Um, Johnny's digging down in the bottom reason. of the barrel. Uh, I thought Full Metal. Uh, kind of the same reason of Gurren Logan. I just thought it would be a fun dynamic. I mean, I'd like to see, you know, two sisters. Fighting alongside each other, mm-hmm. you know, against the world. Um, yeah, and I guess it would add some, uh, I guess, more emotion to it, I, I suppose. Because they're fighting their, well, not fighting, but they're constantly trying to find their mother, you know. And a little um, bit more connective right there, right? Like, yeah. because the dad plays such an important role and they're, like, mm-hmm. they've got issues with their dad. But this time it'd be like, they try to resurrect their mom and and that that's a strong, familiar C- mm. connection it's like yeah i can see that I can see it. and then and then they view other like their mentor as their new mom mm-hmm. and then like they that bond and that okay i can see that yeah yeah i also had full metal on my uh list but i put on some weird ones so i said i was following a route with interspecies reviewers which brought me to things like konosuba mm-hmm because I think the show would fundamentally different if the same character is super f- perverted, but is doing it still to women. So then it's like same gender on same gender, and it's still strange, but it's a little more accepted. I actually, th- that's what I was gonna say. I don't think it would be as as strange necessarily. It would just I'm be stealing like, your oh, underwear. You. Yeah, they're like, well, I guess I guess she likes other women's underwear yeah. uh, instead of just a downright creepy moment. So I I was having kind of fun with that, and I think that'd be like another style of comedy, mm-hmm. that that would be kind of fun to play play around with. Um, Nothing would go wrong in that. That would just be like <laughs> entirely slice of life. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's do one more each, and then we'll do lightning round. If we got a lightning round. Uh, I don't actually have any more. I just have ones that I would not want to see. Okay. Uh- let me uh, lightning through the rest of mine, and then we'll uh-huh. go through knots. Uh-huh. Okay, so after Konosuba, that led me to Mushoku Tensei. Mm-hmm. Mostly because I do feel that would be a complete change to the anime to have this very perverted little girl who's then, like, like stealing her maid's, or I guess her butler's underwear, and it, like, ch- kind of changes the way this character is by being, like, very perverted, but, like... <laughs> I I mean, if anything, it'd be interesting to see how people would treat her. Like, he is so fundamentally a boy, cool. like, a little perverted boy, that it makes sense. But, like, I think it changes the show to be like, oh, she's a perverted girl. Mm. And she's, like, doing all the dick stuff. Like, like she when she crafts things, she's like, oh, I just made the same character, but with a huge long. <laughs> I was going to say, that would be the, the worst case scenario, I guess. She makes the same detail and everything, just... 
massive dick on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I had away. some fun ones. Oh, no, no. Following the same path, I have seven deadly sins. Mm-hmm. Because, again, it'd be weird to see... Okay, would you change all the sins at that point, or just Meliodas and Elizabeth? I don't know. I didn't think mm. about this before I put it on. But I think it'd be a lot different. Like, it would change kind of the, the, the way the show flowed. Uh, and yeah. probably, I would say, reduce the amount of inappropriate touching from certain characters. Or probably. I will, and that's, that's the thing. I mean, like, the world where society isn't ready for that kind of exposure, mm-hmm. which is why we just, we're not seeing, you know, Game of Thrones level just dong being yeah, hung out. Yeah, yeah, So, I mean, we're, we're not going to see it. So, yeah, it probably would be less, but, I mean... Interesting thoughts. Yeah, and then my last one, I had a quick try to pick up girls in a dungeon. I just don't think that would actually change. I think it would still be as adorable and fun as it is now. Just with Hestia and her lovely female companion. See, that almost sounds like a, a more... Mm, yeah, that doesn't sound... That sounds like I could. that's the same anime. I mean, I could still find that somewhere. Try to pick up different. boys in a dungeon? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, my last one, and I thought this would be awesome, would be One, one Punch One Man. Mm-hmm. But one punch woman, I would see, that'd be awesome. I I don't know why, because I like to see Zarya types. It just in more anime. Okay, just just thick, muscly women just beating the crap out of people. It's like, you know, that's a great thing. Add more. See, funny enough, we my, hear a friend say, "Squeeze them between their thighs." <laughs> but I have I have two, two that I would not want to see. When you said both. <laughs> oh, I did? <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, so I I didn't want to see DBZ. I don't know. It made me think of an anime I just watched recently, which was uh-huh. uh, called Ikitosen. And um, it was admittedly just the whole entire show was just panty shots. And I, I don't know. I was just, it got me worried. I was like, I don't know how that would necessarily flow. Mm-hmm. Plus of the whole, you mentioned Chi-Chi. And I don't know necessarily, I mean, if that would work out the same way. Not that, you know. Chi Chi can't be a man or a woman, I guess. But I mean, I don't know. The whole show just seemed kind of. I I almost need to see Goku be a dude doing all this dumb shit. Yeah. Like if it's not, I don't know. It's, it changes it the doesn't story work the same yeah, way, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Um, One Punch Man, I think, was similar. If anything, I. Because you you talk about a Zarya type, I mean I I feel like One Punch Man is very unassuming in his f- yeah. physique almost. So I'm I'm like it would be a bald, just unassuming chick. And I, I even tried to change the title. I was like One Kick Chick, but I don't know if that was like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. I hate that in so many ways. I don't know why it also sounds demeaning at the same time. Oh, does it? You know. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was like, is it? And I couldn't, I was saying it too much and I couldn't hear it anymore. So I wasn't <laughs> sure. One kick chick. I, I think it's more the chick that, that ruins it. Like, mm-hmm. like that's not kind of a word that people use. It's like one punch use. dude, then I could be like one one kick chick. <laughs> but yeah, that's fair. So, uh, I don't know. You just name it Hit Girl and then you'd be good. <laughs> uh, that was just kind of one, I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I think the bald, it kind of needs to be part of the character too. The whole just, like, it's inexplicable. Why did he become bald? I mean, there are bald women and bald men, but it's a little more typical to see a bald hey, man. We we don't talk about bald women, because Will Smith will come in here and punch us in the face. Apparently. Apparently. Uh, a good slapping. Just um, I just finished off with saying all of fan service, and I brought that up before, but it would certainly be a weird world... That- I mean, I'm guessing you wouldn't watch it as much, but probably like, not. If all fan service was then, I'd enjoy Yuri more. on Ice more. Oh, you know what? <laughs> That's true. That's true. I would enjoy Yuri on Ice, mm. and the occasional BL anime would then be a girl love anime instead. And then Johnny, you would just watch really like you would watch all the BL stuff, but it would be with women, and then you'd be like, oh, like I watch a lot of cutesy anime. I don't know why I'm watching this. <laughs> It's yeah, like see, it's a, a boy, an a boy, different world. A boy's just sitting there, like going, "I, I hope those two girls, they get together." <laughs> well, I'm trying to think like the craziest fan service out there. You know, you take a high school DxD. Mm-hmm. I that just and then just add abs and big dong. And I, then, it's just it. It would just be all it's dudes. different. It's also it's just, just different. Dudes. It's like fundamentally different because they keep adding 
uh, chicks to the bed of this of the main character. I gotta be so honest. It would just be keep adding dudes, and it would be ridiculous. That's the problem is everybody loves boobs, but I don't think everybody loves dog. It's like I think that's something that the world needs to accept. It's not about being sexist or anything like that. Everybody just knows boobs are better. And I think we can end this episode on that. Boobs are better. And if you like boobs, please go find your nearest uh, breast cancer <laughs> donation place and go give them a lot of money. Uh, you know, celebrate women around you and in your life. Uh, because, you know, no matter who they are, I'm sure they deserve and earn a little bit of your respect and appreciation. So, happy Women's History Month. We're closing to the end of it right now. Uh, but if you have any uh, amazing women role models in your life, get a, give us a shout out uh, down below. Otherwise, you can reach us at AnimeCasualsReal, R-E-A-L, at gmail.com. And find us on uh, any Anime Casuals. Go watch our old content or help suggest some new content that you would like us to get into. Otherwise, as always, keep it casual. casual.